Hey, what's going on guys? My name's Oh My God, Your Head's Gone, and welcome back to another GTA 5 online video. Today we're going to be taking a look at which actual upgrades for your car affect the resale value. And this is really important because if you guys have checked out the solo money glitch that I posted on my channel a couple of days ago, you guys want to know which upgrades actually affect the resale value of the duplicates that you're selling. So right now, I'm selling this Panto duplicate for, believe it or not, $196,000. I believe it is the highest selling vehicle that you can actually duplicate. Uh, if you guys know of a better one, uh, tell me that down below in the comment section, but I really do not believe that there is any better one. And the thing is, you don't even need everything upgraded. There are actually some things that are completely unnecessary to upgrade, and there's some of the more expensive upgrades as well, so I'm going to go through a quick list of them so you guys know which actual upgrades you need to buy and which ones you do not need to buy. Alright, so first things first, I'm going to actually show you. Here we go. $196,000 is the value of this car. I'm going to quickly go out of Los Santos Customs and get my mechanic to send me another one of the duplicates that I've done with the money glitch. And then we're going to take a look at which actual upgrades we can take off of it and it will still retain that $196,000 sell value. Alright, so first of all, the paint color actually does not affect the resale value of the car whatsoever. So you do not have to upgrade that on the original car that you are duplicating. You guys see I have chrome on right now, but I'm just going to go ahead and take that off and put on a really cheap paint, maybe a classic black or something like that. Uh, and then we're going to check the resale value after I've taken off all these extra things that you would think increase the sell value like a $25,000 chrome paint job, but really they don't. So the next thing we're going to go ahead and take off is the wheel color. The wheel color for your paint on your wheels does not affect the value at all either. So you can go ahead and just change that to uh, a stock color. You do not have to upgrade that on the car you're doing it with. Also, the custom tires can be regular stock tires. Those also do not affect the resale value at all. And neither does tire smoke. So you guys can have no tire smoke. You don't want to have to spend like $25,000 on that uh, on the original car that you're planning on duplicating because it also also doesn't affect it neither does window tint believe it or not so that uh, that pure black window tint for ten thousand dollars is actually just a complete waste of money and finally last but not least the license plate does not affect the sell value at all for this so next up I'm gonna go back into Los Santos customs and I'll show you guys the custom tires aren't on for example the chrome uh, upgrade the paint job chrome is not there either and neither is the black window tint or any of that stuff uh, it says that those haven't even been bought but the resale value is still hundred and ninety six thousand dollars so what you guys want to do if you want to do the solo money glitch with the panto is buy every single upgrade except for the ones that I showed you there and that's gonna get you a duplicatable car that can actually sell for a hundred ninety six thousand dollars per duplicate so this is the best car in the game to do the money glitch with and uh, and I just wanted to let you guys know that those upgrades are not necessary and it's pointless to waste your money on that so anyways guys that is it for the video if you guys enjoyed it remember to leave a like on it comment something down below and subscribe today to become a part of the headless army otherwise thank you guys so much for watching the video have a great day I'm out peace out